Japanese Buddhist architecture is the architecture of Buddhist temples in Japan, consisting of locally developed variants of architectural styles born in China. After Buddhism arrived the continent via three kingdoms of Korea in the 6th century, an effort was initially made to reproduce original buildings as faithfully as possible, but gradually local versions of continental styles were developed both to meet Japanese tastes and to solve problems posed by local weather, which is more rainy and humid than in China. The first Buddhist sects were Nara's six Nanto Rokushu, Nando Luzong Nara six sects, followed during the Heian period by Kyoto's Shingon and Tendai. Later, during the Kamakura period, in Kamakura were born the Jodo and the native Japanese sect Nichiren Shu. At roughly the same time Zen Buddhism arrived from China, strongly influencing all other sects in many ways, including architecture. The social composition of Buddhism's followers also changed radically with time. In the beginning it was the elite's religion, but slowly it spread from the noble to warriors, merchants and finally to the population at large. On the technical side, new woodworking tools like the framed pit saw and the plane allowed new architectonic solutions. Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines share their basic characteristics and often differ only in details that the non specialist may not notice. This similarity is because the sharp division between Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines is recent, dating to the Meiji period's policy of separation of Buddhism and Shinto of 1868. Before the Meiji Restoration it was common for a Buddhist temple to be built inside or next to a shrine, or for a shrine to include Buddhist sub-temples. If a shrine housed a Buddhist temple, it was called a Jinguji, Shane Gong Si Lit, Shrine Temple. Analogously, temples all over Japan used to adopt tutelary kami Chinju, Gen Shou Gen Zhu and built shrines within their precincts to house them. After the forcible separation of temples and shrines ordered by the new government, the connection between the two religions was officially severed, but continued nonetheless in practice and is still visible today. Buddhist architecture in Japan during the country's whole history has absorbed much of the best available natural and human resources. Particularly between the 8th and the 16th centuries, it led the development of new structural and ornamental features. For these reasons, its history is vital to the understanding of not only Buddhist architecture itself, but also of Japanese art in general. Topic. General features Buddhist architecture in Japan is not native, but was imported from China and other Asian cultures over the centuries with such constancy that the building styles of all six dynasties are represented. Its history is as a consequence dominated by Chinese and other Asian techniques and styles present even in Ai's shrine, held to be the quintessence of Japanese architecture on one side, and by Japanese original variations on those themes on the other, partly due also to the variety of climates in Japan and the millennium encompassed between the first cultural import and the last. The result is extremely heterogeneous, but several practically universal features can nonetheless be found. First of all is the choice of materials, always wood in various forms planks, straw, tree bark, etc. for almost all structures. Unlike both Western and some Chinese architecture, the use of stone is avoided except for certain specific uses, for example temple podia and pagoda foundations. The general structure is almost always the same, columns and lintels support a large and gently curved roof, while the walls are paper-thin, often movable and in any case non-carrying. Arches and barrel roofs are completely absent. Gable and eave curves are gentler than in China and columnar entasis convexity at the center limited. The roof is the most visually impressive component, often constituting half the size of the whole edifice. The slightly curved eaves extend far beyond the walls, covering verandas, and their weight must therefore be supported by complex bracket systems called tokyo. These oversize eaves give the interior a characteristic dimness, which contributes to the temple's atmosphere. The interior of the building normally consists of a single room at the center called moya, from which sometimes depart other less important spaces, for example corridors called hasashi. Inner space divisions are fluid, and room size can be modified through the use of screens or movable paper walls. The large, single space offered by the main hall can therefore be altered according to the need. The separation between inside and outside is itself in some measure not absolute as entire walls can be removed, opening the temple to visitors. Verandas appear to be part of the building to an outsider, but part of the external world to those in the temple. Structures are therefore made to a certain extent part of their environment. 
The use of construction modules keeps proportions between different parts of the edifice constant, preserving its overall harmony, even in cases as that of Nikko Tosho Gu, where every available space is heavily decorated. Ornamentation tends to follow, and therefore emphasize rather than hide, basic structures, being shared by both sacred and profane architecture. These architectonic features made it easy converting a lay building into a temple. This happened for example at Horyuji, where a noblewoman's mansion was transformed into a religious building. History Beginnings, Asuka and Nara periods Buddhism is not a Japanese native religion, and its architecture arrived from the continent via Korea together with the first Buddhists in the 6th century. Officially adopted in the wake of the Battle of Shigasan in 587, after that date Buddhist temples began to be constructed. Because of the hostility of supporters of local kami beliefs towards Buddhism, no temple of that period survives, so we don't know what they were like. Thanks to the Nihon Shoki, however, we do know that an architect, six Buddhist priests and an image maker from the Korean kingdom of Paikchi came to Japan in 577 to advise the Japanese on the arrangement of monastic buildings. The layout of Osaka's Shitenoji see below reflects the plan of Changyamsa Temple in Buyo, capital of Paikshi from 538 to 663. We know for certain that Soga no Umako built Hokoji, the first temple in Japan, between 588 and 596. It was later renamed as Asuka Dera for Asuka, the name of the capital where it was located. Prince Shotoku actively promoted Buddhism and ordered the construction of Shitenoji in Osaka 593 and Horyuji near his palace in Akaruga completed in 603. During this period, temple layout was strictly prescribed and followed mainland styles, with a main gate facing south and the most sacred area surrounded by a semi-enclosed roofed corridor Cairo accessible through a middle gate Chuman. The sacred precinct contained a pagoda, which acted as a reliquary for sacred objects, and a main hall The complex might have other structures such as a lecture hall a belfry a sutra repository priests and monks' quarters and bathhouses. The ideal temple had a heart formed by seven structures called Shichido Garen, or Seven Hall Temple. Buddhism, and the construction of temples, spread from the capital to outlying areas in the Hakuho period from 645 to 710. In addition, many temples were built in locations favored by the precepts of Chinese geomancy. The arrangements not only of the buildings, groups of trees and ponds of the compound, but also of mountains and other geographic features in particular directions around the temple played important roles as well. The Chinese Five Elements school of thought believed that many natural phenomena naturally fell under five categories. Six groups of five categories were established as a rule to the building of edifices. A palace for a new prince would for example be placed east to symbolize birth, and yellow tiles would be used for the imperial palace to symbolize power. The five elements theory is also the basis of the Gorinto, an extremely common stone stupa whose invention is attributed to Kakai. Its five sections a cube, a sphere, a pyramid, a crescent and a lotus-shaped cusp stand each for one of the five elements. Chinese numerology also played an important role. According to the Yin Yang school, which started in about 305 BC, Yang stood for the sun, warmth, maleness, and odd numbers, while Yin stood for their opposites. In groups of buildings, therefore, halls occurred in odd numbers because halls themselves were believed to be Yang. Being Yang, odd numbers in general are considered positive and lucky, and Buddhism shows a preference for odd numbers. In the case of storied pagodas, either in stone or wood, the number of stories is almost always odd. Practically all wooden pagodas have either three or five stories. Specimen with a different number of stories used to exist, but none has survived. Because of fire, earthquakes, typhoons and wars, few of those ancient temples still exist. Horyuji, rebuilt after a fire in 670, is the only one still possessing 7th century structures, the oldest extant wooden buildings in the world. Unlike early kami worship shrines, early Buddhist temples were highly ornamental and strictly symmetrical see reconstruction of Asuka Dera above. 
Starting with Horyuji in the late 7th century, temples began to move towards irregular ground plans that resulted in an asymmetric arrangement of buildings, greater use of natural materials such as cypress bark instead of roof tiling, and an increased awareness of natural environment with the placement of buildings among trees. This adaptation was assisted by the syncretism of Kami and Buddhism, which through Japanese traditional nature worship gave Buddhism a greater attention to natural surroundings. During the first half of the 8th century, Emperor Shomu decreed temples and nunneries be erected in each province and that Todaiji be built as a headquarters for the network of temples. The head temple was inaugurated in 752 and was of monumental dimensions with two seven-storied pagodas, each ca. 100 meters 330 feet tall and a great Buddha hall about 80 meters times 70 meters 260 feet times 230 feet. Nara period Buddhism was characterized by seven influential state-supported temples, the so-called Nanto Sichi Daiji, octagonal structures such as the Hall of Dreams at Horyuji built as memorial halls and storehouses exemplified by the Shoswan first appeared during the Nara period. Temple structures, such as pagodas and main halls, had increased significantly in size since the late 6th century. The placement of the pagoda moved to a more peripheral location and the roof bracketing system increased in complexity as roofs grew larger and heavier. Another early effort to reconcile kami worship and Buddhism was made in the 8th century during the Nara period with the founding of the so-called Junguji, Shane Gong Si or Shrine Temples. The use in a Shinto shrine of Buddhist religious objects was believed to be necessary since the kami were lost beings in need of liberation through the power of Buddha. Kami were thought to be subject to karma and reincarnation like human beings, and early Buddhist stories tell how the task of helping suffering kami was assumed by wandering monks. A local kami would appear in a dream to the monk, telling him about his suffering. To improve the kami's karma through rites and the reading of sutras, the monk would build a temple next to the kami's shrine. Such groupings were created already in the 7th century, for example in USA, Kyushu, where Kami Hachiman was worshipped together with Moroku Bosatsu at USA Hachiman Gu. At the end of the same century, in what is considered the second stage of the amalgamation, the Kami Hachiman was declared to be protector deity of the Dharma and a little bit later a bodhisattva. Shrines for him started to be built at temples, marking an important step ahead in the process of amalgamation of Kami and Buddhist cults. When the great Buddha at Todaiji in Nara was built, within the temple grounds was also erected a shrine for Hachiman, according to the legend because of a wish expressed by the Kami himself. This coexistence of Buddhism and Kami worship, in religion as well as architecture, continued until the Kami and Buddha's separation order, Shainfo Pan Ran Ling Shinbutsu Hanzen Rei, lit. Kami Buddha Separation Order of 1868. Topic. Heian period. During the Heian period Buddhism became even more infused with Japanese elements, it met and assimilated local beliefs concerning ghosts and spirits the so-called Onrei and Matama, developing traits close to magic and sorcery which allowed it to penetrate a wide spectrum of social classes. Its merging with indigenous religious belief was then accelerated by the systematization of the syncretism of Buddhism and local religious beliefs see the article on the Hanji Suiyaku theory, which claimed that Japanese kami were simply Buddhist gods under a different name. It was in this kind of environment that Fujiwara no Michinaga and retired Emperor Shirakawa competed in erecting new temples, in the process giving birth to the Jodo Kyo architecture and the new Weio architectural style. The early Heian period 9th -10th century saw an evolution of styles based on the esoteric sects Tendai and Shingon. These two sects followed faithfully the Nanto Rokushu architectonic tradition in the plains, but in mountainous areas developed an original style. This development was facilitated by the syncretic fusion of foreign Buddhism with local mountain worship cults. Called Weio, Heiyang Japanese style, to distinguish it from imported Chinese styles, it was characterized by simplicity, refrain for ornamentation, use of natural timber and in general plain materials. Structurally, it was distinguished by, a main hall divided in two parts, an outer area for novices and an inner area for initiates, a hip and gable roof covering both areas, a raised wooden floor instead of the tile or stone floors of earlier temples, extended eaves to cover the front steps, shingles or bark rather than tile roofing, and a disposition of the garen adapting to the natural environment, and not following the traditional symmetrical layouts. 
The Tohoto, a two-storied tower with some resemblance to Indian stupas, was also introduced by these sects during this period. According to an ancient Buddhist prophecy, the world would enter a dark period called Mapo in 1051. During this period the Tendai sect believed that enlightenment was possible only through the veneration of Amida Buddha. Consequently, many so-called paradise or Amida halls, such as the Phoenix Hall at Bioto in 1053, the main hall of Jorori-ji 1157, and the Golden Hall at Chusenji 1124, were built by the imperial family or members of the aristocracy to recreate the western paradise of Amida on earth. Amida halls that enshrined the nine statues of Amida were popular during the 12th century late Heian period. The main hall of Jorori-ji is however the only example of such a hall still extant. Topic. Kamakura and Muromachi periods The Kamakura period brought to power the warrior caste, which expressed in its religious architecture its necessities and tastes. The influential Zen arrived in Japan from China, and the Jodo sect achieved independence. In architecture this period is characterized by the birth of fresh and rational designs, the Daibutsu style ya, da fo yang daibutsu yo, lit, great Buddha style and the Zen style ya, chan zong yang zenio, lit. Zen sect style emerged in the late 12th or early 13th century. The first, introduced by the priest Chojin, was based on Song dynasty architecture and represented the antithesis of the simple and traditional Weio style. The Nandaman at Todai-ji and the Amida Hall at Jodo-ji are the only extant examples of this style. Originally called Tenjikuyo, Tian Zuyang lit. Indian style, because it had nothing to do with India it was rechristened by scholar Oda Hirotaro during the 20th century, and the new term stuck. Oda derived the name from Chojin's work, particularly Todai-ji's Daibutsudan. The Zen style was originally called Karyo, Tang Yang Chinese style, and, like the Daibutsu style, was rechristened by Oda. Its characteristics are earthen floors, subtly curved pent roofs mikoshi, and pronouncedly curved main roofs, cusped windows katamado, and paneled doors. Examples of this style include the belfry at Todai-ji, the Founders Hall at Aiho-ji and the Sharidan at Engaku-ji. The Zen Garen usually does not have a pagoda and, when it does, it is relegated to a peripheral position. These three styles we have seen Weio, Debutsuyo and Zenio, were often combined during the Muromachi period 1336 giving birth to the so-called eclectic style, Zhe Zhang Yang Sechuyo, exemplified by the main hall at Kakuren-ji. The combination of Weio and Debutsuyo in particular became so frequent that sometimes it is called by scholars Shin Weio, Shin Heiyang Nu Weio. By the end of the Muromachi period late 16th century, Japanese Buddhist architecture had reached its apogee. Construction methods had been perfected and building types conventionalized. Azuki Mamoyama and Edo periods After the turbulence of the Sengoku period and the establishment of the Tokugawa Shogunate in 1603, old temples like Hiezen, Toji and Todai-ji lost their power and the schools of Buddhism were surpassed in influence by the Nichiren Shu and Jodo Shu. The Edo period was an era of unprecedented building fervor in religious architecture. The number of faithful coming for prayer or pilgrimage had increased, so designs changed to take into account their necessities, and efforts were made to catch their ears and eyes. Old sects limited themselves to revive old styles and ideas, while the new relied on huge spaces and complex designs. Both, in spite of their differences, have in common a reliance on splendor and excess. Early pre-modern temples were saved from monotony by elaborate structural details, the use of undulating karahafu gables and the use of buildings of monumental size. While structural design tended to become gradually more rational and efficient, the surface of religious edifices did the opposite, growing more elaborate and complex. After the Middle Edo period, past its zenith, religious architecture ended up just repeating told ideas, losing its innovative spirit and entering its final decline. Representative examples for the Mamoyama (1568–1603) and Edo period (1603–1868) temple architecture are the Karaman at Hagen-ji and the main hall of Kiyomizu Dera, respectively. Topic: <laughs> Meiji period. 
In 1868 the government enacted its policy of separation of Buddhas and kami called Shinbutsu Bunri, with catastrophic consequences for the architecture of both temples and shrines. Until that time, the syncretism of kami and Buddhas had posed little problem, and brought a measure of harmony between the adherents of the two religions, and under the syncretic system, many customs evolved that are still in practice and are best understood under the syncretic context. Because many structures became illegal where they stood, such as Buddhist pagodas within the precincts of Shinto shrines, they had to be destroyed, according to the letter of the law. An estimated 30,000 Buddhist structures were demolished between 1868 and 1874. Buddhism eventually made a recovery in many parts of the country, yet in others, most notably in Kagoshima Prefecture, there is still a near absence of Buddhist structures. Common temple features Butsudan or Butsudu Fo Dian Fo Tang lit. Hall of Buddha. A Zen temple's main hall. Seems to have two stories, but has in fact only one and measures either 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five bays. Any building enshrining the statue of Buddha or of a bodhisattva and dedicated to prayer. Chinjusha, Jen Shou Shi Jen Zhu Shi, a small shrine built at a Buddhist temple and dedicated to its tutelary kami. Chozuya, Shoshui Shi Si Temazuya. Chumen, Zhang Men in a temple, the gate after the name daemon connected to a Cairo. See also Mon. Du Tang Lit Hall. Suffix for the name of the building's part of a temple. The prefix can be the name of a deity associated with it e.g. Yakushi Du, or Yakushi Hall or express the building's function within the temple's compound e.g. Hun Du, or Main Hall. See also Butsu Du, Ho Du, Hun Du, Jiki Du, Kaizen Du, Ko Du, Kan Du, Kyo Du, Mandara Du, Mie Du, Mi Du, So Du, Yakushi Du and Zen Du. Garen, see Sichi Du Garen. Hato Fatang Lit. Dharma Hall. A building dedicated to lectures by the chief priest on Buddhism scriptures, the Ho. Hojo, Fang Zhang, the living quarters of the head priest of a Zen temple. Hak Du, Fa Wa Tang Lit, Lotus Sutra Hall. In Tendai Buddhism, a hall whose layout allows walking around a statue for meditation. The purpose of walking is to concentrate on the Hokkakyo and seek the ultimate truth. Jiki Du, Shi Tang Dainining Hall in ancient temples. See also Sai Du. Hanbo, Benfang residence of the Jishoku, or head priest, of a temple. Cairo, Weilang Weilang a long and roofed portico-like passage connecting two buildings. Kaizen Du, Kai Shan Tang Founders Hall, usually at a Zen temple. Building enshrining a statue, portrait or memorial tablet of the founder of either the temple or the sect it belongs to. Jodo sect temples often call it Mie Du. Karaman, Tang Men generic term for a gate with an arched roof. See also Mon Karasansui Kushan Shui Lit, Dry Landscape. A Japanese rock garden, often present in Zen temples, and sometimes found in temples of other sects too. Katamado Watu Chuang, a bell-shaped window originally developed at Zen temples in China, but widely used by other Buddhist sects as well as in lay buildings. Khan Du Jin Tang Lit, Golden Hall. It is the main hall of a garen, housing the main object of worship. Unlike a Butsudan, it is a true two-story building although the second story may sometimes be missing measuring nine by seven bays. Konro Zanlang covered corridor between two buildings. Koro or Kuro Gu Lu Tower housing a drum that marks the passing of time. It used to face the Shoro and lie next to the Kodu, but now the drum is usually kept in the Roman. Kuan asterisk Ku Yuan kitchen, office of a Zen Garen. A building hosting the galleys, the kitchen, and the offices of a temple. Usually situated in front and to the side of the Butsudan, facing the Sudu. Also called Kuri. Kuri, Ku Li Si Kuan Kyo Du, Jing Tang Si Kyozo Kyozo, Jing Zhang Lit. Scriptures Deposit. Repository of sutras and books about the temple's history. Also called Kyo Du. Mie Du, Yu Ying Tang Lit. Image Hall. Building housing an image of the temple's founder, equivalent to a Zen sect's Kaizen Du. Mi Du, Yu Tang, a generic honorific term for a building which enshrines a sacred statue. Moroku Niorai, Mi Lei Ru Lai, Japanese name of Maitreya. 
Mon men a temple's gate, which can be named after its position Nandaman, lit. Great Southern Gate. Its structure Najuman, two-storied gate. A deity Nioman, lit. Neo Gate. Or its use Anaraman, lit. Imperial Visit Gate. A gate reserved to the emperor. The same gate can therefore be described using more than one term. For example, a Nioman can at the same time be a Najuman. Nandaman Nandamen the main southern gate of a temple, in particular that at Nara's Todai G. See also Mon Najuman Er Zhongmen a two-storied gate with a roof surrounding the first floor. See also Mon Nioman Ren Wang Men or Er Wang Men a two-storied or high gate guarded by two wooden guardians called Neo. See also Mon Noborero Deng Lang a covered stairway at Nara's Hasidera. Pagoda, see stupa and tu. Sai du, jai tang the refectory at a Zen temple or monastery. See also jiki du. Sando can dao the approach leading from a torii to a shrine. The term is also used sometimes at Buddhist temples too. Sanmen, san men or shan men, the gate in front of the butsudan. The name is short for sangadatsuman, san jia tuo men lit. Gate of the Three Liberations. Its three openings Kuman, Kong Men, Musomen, Wu Shang Men, and Muganmen, Wu Yuan Men symbolize the three gates to enlightenment. Entering, one can free himself from three passions Tan Tun, or greed, Chen Shin, or hatred, and Qi Kai, or foolishness. See also Mon. Its size depends on the temple's rank. See photos. Sanro, Shanlang, small buildings at the ends of a two storied Zen gate containing the stairs to the second story. Sakito, Shita, a stone pagoda, stupa. See also too. Shichido Garen, Chi Tang Jalan, a double compound term literally meaning seven halls. Chi Tang and temple buildings. Jalan. What is counted in the group of seven buildings, or Shichido, can vary greatly from temple to temple and from school to school. In practice, Shichido Garen can also mean simply a large complex. Nanto Rokushu and later non Zen schools. The Shichido Garen in this case includes a Kondu, a Tu, a Kodu, a Shoro, a Jiki Du, a Sobo, and a Kyozo. Zen schools A Zen Shichido Garen includes a Butsudan or Butsu Du, a Hado, a Kuan, a So Du, a Sanman, a Tosu, and a Yokoshitsu. Shoan Shu Yuan originally a study and a place for lectures on the sutra within a temple, later the term came to mean just a study. Shoro, Zhang Lu, a temple's belfry, a building from which a bell is hung. Sobo, Sengfang, the monks' living quarters in a non-Zen garen. Sudu, Sengtang lit. Monk Hall. A building dedicated to the practice of Zazen. It used to be dedicated to all kinds of activities, from eating to sleeping, centered on Zazen. Soman, Zong Men, the gate at the entrance of a temple. It precedes the bigger and more important Sanmen. See also Mon. Soren Shang Lun a spire reaching up from the center of the roof of some temple halls, tiered like a pagoda. Sotoba or Sotoba Zuta Po transliteration of the Sanskrit stupa. A pagoda. Tower with an odd number of tiers 3, 5, 7, 9, or 13. See also stupa and 2. Strips of wood left behind tombs during annual ceremonies Susan, symbolizing a stupa. The upper part is segmented like a pagoda and carries Sanskrit inscriptions, sutras, and the kaimyo posthumous name of the deceased. In present-day Japanese, sotoba usually has this meaning. Stupa, in origin a vessel for Buddha's relics, later also a receptacle for scriptures and other relics. Its shape changed in the Far East under the influence of the Chinese watchtower to form tower-like structures like the Tobuto, the Gorinto, the Hokiointo, the Sakito, the Tu, or the much simpler wooden stick-style Sotoba. Tachu ta -tu or ta -zhong. In Zen temples, a building containing a pagoda enshrining the ashes of an important priest stands. Later, it became a subsidiary temple or a minor temple depending from a larger one. Finally, it became also subsidiary temple being the family temple Bodaiji of an important family. Tohoto Duo Bao Ta a two-storied pagoda with a ground floor having a dome-shaped ceiling and a square pent roof, a round second floor and square roofs. Temazuya Shoshueshi a fountain near the entrance of a shrine and a temple where worshippers can cleanse their hands and mouths before worship. 
Tesaki Shoshian term used to count the roof supporting brackets Tokyo Dokyo projecting from a temple's wall, usually composed of two steps Futadasaki Er Shoshian or three Midasaki San Jin Shoshian Tokyo Dokyo Si Tesaki Torii Niao Ju the iconic Shinto gate at the entrance of a sacred area, usually, but not always, a shrine. Shrines of various size can be found next to, or inside temples. Toro Deng Long a lantern at a shrine or Buddhist temple. Some of its forms are influenced by the Gorinto. Two Ta a pagoda, and an evolution of the stupa. After reaching China, the stupa evolved into a tower with an odd number of tiers 3, 5, 7, 9, 13, excepted the tohodo, which has two. The word is used together as a suffix of a numeral indicating the number of a pagoda's tiers three tiers. Topic. San Ju no Tu, five tiers equals Go Ju no Tu, seven tiers. Nana Ju no Tu, etc. Tosu or Toshi Dongsi a Zen monastery's toilet. Yakushi Du Yao Shi Tang a building that enshrines a statue of Yakushi Niorai, asterisk Yokushitsu asterisk Yushi a monastery's bathroom. Zen Du Chan Tang lit. Hall of Zen. The building where monks practice Zazen, and one of the main structures of a Zen Garen. Topic Gallery. Topic See also Buddhist temples in Japan, Glossary of Japanese Buddhism, Heibutsu Kishaku, Japanese architecture. List of national treasures of Japan temples. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Topic. Bibliography. Fletcher, Sir Bannister, Crookshank, Dan. 1996. 1896. Sir Bannister Fletcher's A History of Architecture, 20th Illustrated ed. Architectural Press. ISBN 0-7506-2267-9. Retrieved of November 2009. Ivanami Kojian, Guang Si Yuan Japanese Dictionary, 6th edition, 2008, DVD version. JAANUS. Japanese Architecture and Art Net Users System. Fujita Masaya, Koga Shusaku, ed., April 10, 1990. Nihon Kenchiku Shi in Japanese, September 30, 2008 ed. Showa Do. ISBN 4-8122-9805-9. Kleiner, Fred S., Mamiya, Kristen J. 2009. Gardner's Art Through the Ages, Non-Western Perspectives, 13th, Revised ed. Sengage Learning. ISBN 0 495 57367 1. Retrieved the 11th of January 2010. Kuroda, Ryuji. The 2nd of June 2005. History and Typology of Shrine Architecture. Encyclopedia of Shinto, Beta 1.3 ed. Tokyo, Kokugakuen University. Retrieved the 16th of November 2009. Nishi, Kazuo, Hozumi, Kazuo What is Japanese Architecture? Illustrated ed. Kodansha International. ISBN 4-7700-1992-0. Retrieved of November 2009. Sansom, George A History of Japan to 1334. A History of Japan, Sir George Bailey Sansom, Stanford Studies in the Civilizations of Eastern Asia, 1 Illustrated ed. Stanford University Press. ISBN 0-8047-0523-2. Retrieved 12 January 2010. Scheid, Bernhard the 29th of June 2010. Hanji Suiyaku, Die Angleichung von Buddhas und Kami. In German. University of Vienna. Retrieved 4 November 2008. Scheid, Bernhard. Religios Bauwerk in Japan. In German. University of Vienna. Retrieved 27 June 2010. Young, David, Young, Machiko. 2007, 2004. The Art of Japanese Architecture. 
Architecture and Interior Design Illustrated, Revised ed. Tuttle Publishing. ISBN 0-8048-3838-0. Retrieved of November 2009. Young, David, Young, Machiko Kimura, Yu, Tan Hong Introduction to Japanese Architecture. Perry Plus Asian Architecture Illustrated ed. Tuttle Publishing. ISBN 0-7946-0100-6. Retrieved of January 2010.